Hello everyone, welcome to Belgium for our second semi-final in the Women's Under-19 European Championships. Two old rivals, France and Germany, face off today. We are in Tourage for the right, one of these two, to face Spain in uh, Sunday's final. Scored more goals, had a better goal difference. That head-to-head -head against the Netherlands meant that uh, they went through but second in their group. France uh, make three changes, all in midfield. Lagoa, Silla, and Lindy Gilbert come in with Hangu, Benera, and Chosun Not making way. And captain Ribadera leads the line. She's already scored twice, including a sublime strike against Iceland. Well, Germany, five changes for them after their defeat to the Netherlands in Group A. Adamczyk returns in goal. Dean drops back into defence as Blattner returns to midfield. Kett and Alba are restored to bolster a three-woman attack. And we are underway in this second semi-final in the women's. St. Lerch just has pulled out of the challenge. Germany still have it though. There's danger here for France. Oh my word, how did that not go in the back of the net? It was St. Already scored twice in this competition. Alba is such a handful. France, five times champions. Germany, six. Oh, that's a lovely bit of skill from Rivadera. She's got a chance here. And France are ahead. Oh, she scored a lovely goal against Iceland in the group games. And that's the kind of touch she has. And as for the finish, goodness me. It was sublime. <laughs> Joy unalloyed. It was coming from one end or the other, and France had been making most of the running. Got past uh, Dime, the captain of Germany. Again, Dime struggling against the pace of Rivadera did just enough. It's a lovely ball in. Oh, now the referee has a decision, and she has pointed to the spot. And barely a minute after they score, France have a chance to double their advantage. Great play between Ribadera and Fontaine. Ribadera then, from the spot, no trouble at all. And that smile is out again. Two goals for France, two goals for Ribadera in what, three minutes. Germany, oh, it's a bit of a horror show for them. But still, Sandrine Ringler. Let's have a look at this again. It was a miscontrol, and I well, got the ball. No, he didn't get the ball. France come surging forward. Here's Rivadera again. Oh, let me kill, but is in on goal, and uh, that's a disappointing finish. Ball in. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, and that somehow squirts over the bar. And Lindy Gilbert pushed one wide just a couple of minutes ago. She's looking dangerous. Rivadero that time looking to provide the assist. It was a good ball in for France. Oh, and a chance here. Surely, no. Nella looking to pick up the scraps after Lindy Gilbert had the Initial chance, poor defending. What skills and what abilities, particularly up front, Germany have, but they are struggling and they've given the ball away again in a dangerous area. And Fontaine perhaps should have done better. Whipped in left footed, decent ball over the heads of everybody, and the keeper saves the blushes of France. Well, we did say. Could nick one at heart before half time. Entertaining first half. And a very good one for the French captain Luna Ribadera with a wonderful bit of skill for the half time here in the rain. France 2, Germany 0. Gets it. Again, it has to come back. But uh, that's a decent ball in. Far post. 
Oh, it could have been an own goal. Alba was lurking. Naktagal was there as well. And Bourgard got something on it. I think she had to. Play on, says the referee. That's a great ball. The flag has stayed down. Here's Naktagal. Ket is in the centre. Oh, very nearly an own goal. Heroin trying to get something on it and it just skidded across the face of goal. Meshagosh. Blonning. Flag has stayed down. Oh, and Germany have one back. It is Weitz. The centre half who conceded the penalty. No doubt about that one. Well, they didn't clear their lines. A couple of good touches, Blonning. Flagger stayed down. And she had all the time in the world to pick a spot. Put her laces through it, goodness me. This is a great angle. I tell you what, Ribadera is fast. She's dispossessed the defence. Chance for a third. Tried to chip it. The danger's still not clear. And that is uh, chip wide by Fontaine. River Derry, you don't hang about in defence. Into Rosette, in, in my humble opinion. So she could argue she's got a touch of the ball. Good work again from Rivadera. Providing the cross for Olympi Gilbert. Still going. Oh, it wasn't far away. I think the keeper probably had it covered. That's one for Albert to run on to, and I'm telling you, there's a bit of confusion there. Did ever so well! Oh! Hits the post! Oh, she did ever so well to capitalise on the confusion between defender and keeper. This is a fabulous game. Oh, lovely bit of skill. That's wonderfully done. Shetler is there and in the centre. In fact, in the end, that was a lovely bit of skill by Bartz. Wonderful ball in from Glonning. It was very close. It wasn't subtle, was it? Right in front of the away bench. Goal. Bartz. Oh, now then. Referee says no to the penalty. Two points. To the six yard box instead. Well. Wow. Oh, it's gone in. It has gone in. And somehow Germany have pulled this out of the fire. Deep into injury time. Well, well, well. They have been second best for large parts of this game. Much improved in the second half. Oh, Rinadera is furious. It's Plattner who scored. But the defending left a bit to be desired. It floated. Wiked back in by Veit. And he did just enough. And then by Dime. Either time that French could have got in there. Whistle goes. We are level after 90 minutes. take it it's a good one as well and the keeper has to put a decent save in to deny a hat-trick goal from Rivadera wonderful delivery just hung up nicely and French haven't been up this end for a while they could have put the ball in the back of the net but for small margins I think it was Marquez at the far post 
Lovely ball in. Right. Saw the German score deep in the injury time, and that wasn't far away from Skinner Piekel. Super sub so far for the French. And the whistle not blown just yet, and here comes Rivadera. Oh, she goes down asking. I don't think she's going to get. German fans booing from the stands. Let's have a look here. Certainly got the right side. Stumbled. First chance was important. Second one wasn't great. Chance for Germany. They're ahead. Ketz. Is that the goal that puts Germany into the final after the great escape in this semi final? Two down after 21 minutes, and now they have the advantage. You have to feel for Rivadera. First touch wasn't great from Gorgia. The second one was disastrous. You thought the chance had gone, put it onto her left foot, and guided it home. Hill for Roger. Casual. Might give France one more chance. Pox has the ball. It's all over. Germany have managed to perform the great escape in the semi final. Two down in 21 minutes. A 93rd minute equaliser to take it to extra time. And Franziska Kett is the hero with a goal on 115 minutes and somehow Germany make it through to the final on Sunday. Heartbreak for France who looks so good in the first half. But it is the German flags that are waving here in Belgium. Full time here after extra time, France 2, Germany 3.